In this film, we're going to be looking at three ways to convert a raw file into black or white using the raw window. So let's quickly just select three images, bring them into the raw environment, control R, or going into file opening camera raw. And then we can see basically we've brought these three images in on the left hand side here. Well, there's three basic ways to be able to uh, turn the image into black and white within the RAW. Um, the first one would be just uh, in the basic window here, down right at the bottom, you've got the saturation. And just if you push the slider to the left hand side, you can see straight away that it basically takes out all, all the color. Um, obviously, you can just take out little bits of color or all like we're doing here, but that's just using the saturation. Let's double click that one to reset it, put it all back in. My favorite way is to actually use the HSL adjustments though, which if uh, we click into saturation and then we just dial down all of the colors to zero, or I should say minus 100, uh, basically what it will do is take all the color out in all the different channels as, as it were. What this has the ability for me to do then is in the likes of the luminance channel to lighten or darken specifically the face. So by design, um, the face is either going to be made up of a, uh, reds or oranges. Um, as the background to this photograph is orange, though, as I increase the face bright uh, brightness, it also increases the background, as you can see. If I just move the red up a little bit, that will actually have some of the color within the actual background as well, because orange exists as a part of red. And it will lighten that just a touch, but it will do a, a very, very sim similar job. So uh, basically, um, I prefer the HSL and things really. So just to put those back, just double click in onto each one of these uh, little slice sliders here. We'll reset them. Double click in onto that one as well, of course. Um, and then the other way is to uh, choose one of perhaps the presets that they've actually put into the uh, uh, Adobe Camera Raw kind of pre uh, preset anyway. This is very familiar if you're using Lightroom at all. Um, so again, just kind of just going across them, you, you can see the different ones that they've actually built in to the actual um, uh, presets themselves, or of course we could go and make our own. So the three basic ways to convert an image to monochrome are using the saturation slider, or by using the HSL adjustments, by using saturation and then taking all the colors out. Remembering that you can use the um, saturation, I should say the luminance tab to go in and actually lighten or darken skin um, from within this window as well. It's, it's really good in fact for landscapes as well um, because obviously I could take the greens and darken the greens in luminance and that would darken the grass. I can use the blues to darken the skies and so on. But remember I've got to double click those to actually put them back so it's well worth to make a preset to reset the saturation uh, sliders back to zero as well. Um, and then of course I said the third way is basically going in and just selecting the black and white and then actually choosing one of the presets. But presets by design, if you're using um, ones that are built into a, a kind of a, soft, a software like we are here, it's probably not going to give you the best result. Always um, doing them by hand will give you basically the best effects. So I would always try and find the best way. So as I was saying to you, if we just look at these images and I kind of go to the HSL again, if I just take all of those colors out to begin with, which I've just done, and then I actually just go into the, lu uh, the luminance to just higher the red value just a little bit, just to lighten the face, a little bit on the orange as well. Uh, it means that when I do the same thing with the images below, I'll just select all these, Control A to select all those images or Control click in, then going into the Alt S to, sig uh, to synchronize or coming up to the tab here and sync settings. And if I just cheat to begin with, I go everything, just press OK to that. That will make all the settings the same as the, the one that is visible. If I just take the second image now 
and we start to lighten the likes of the orange, um, that will start to lighten and brighten the likes of the skin as well using the red and orange as I said. And in the same, same way here, just going in and lightening skin as we're going through. Of course, for me, I just like to add that vignette in on pretty much all of my images. So just clicking onto the FX, clicking onto the post cropping vignette net in and just kind of darkening that down as well. Just make sure that the eye is really coming into the brightest point of the photograph and things really. There is a slight difference here because the hands are so close to the bottom of the frame. We don't wanna to go too, too deep because that could actually add a negative effect with it. And as you can see, if I put the vignette into a positive, it starts to ha add a, a kind of a horrible, uh, 1910 kind of style of vignette in which we don't want to kind of achieve. So that is my three ways to um, black and white conversion in the RAW.